Saturday night special hot tag. Oh yeah. Motherfucking Saturday night, man. They like were in a fucking club on a Saturday night, man. Hot tagging on a Saturday night, bro. Hot tagging. All right, that's enough of that before we get kicked off of YouTube. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this was a last minute thing. So we're just going to shoot the shit tonight. This is, you know, we kind of just did this because we're very thankful. We've kind of quadrupled the downloads on iTunes. So we greatly appreciate all the new listeners, everybody that's been listening since the first day. Greatly appreciate you guys. Um, anything you have to say about it, uh, you know, to, to, the, to the new listeners? Oh, I say, I say thank you people very much. We appreciate it. We love you. And sip a red stripe for the downloading man. There you go. Now, we would definitely appreciate you more if you leave a review on iTunes. <laughs> you know, that would be great. Um, I know, I know. It only takes five seconds. It's, 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 it's crazy that people don't have five seconds. But, you know, if you can make it happen, if you can give us five seconds for you know, given six hours a week back, that that would be awesome. Just just a, just a once in a lifetime five seconds, we would appreciate that. So definitely, greatly appreciate it regardless though. But you know, this is this is kind of a Saturday night edition. We're not going to talk about raw. We're just going to talk about some fucking random ass wrestling. Yeah, yeah. wrestling, Mama. wrestling, man, wrestling, wrestling, wrestling. Now. I have I found something interesting on Facebook that I want to share with everybody. This is fucking crazy, by okay. the way. Um, I actually saw it on Sabu's personal uh, account on Facebook, mm -hmm. and this is I did. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that? I'm, I'm... Fucking Sabu is breaking kayfabe. Kayfabe is dead, and Triple H is right. Sabu has a Facebook account, so kayfabe is indeed dead. <laughs> Go for it, man. But yeah, this guy. Indeed. This guy, he posted that, uh, fucking, what's, what's the guy name, what's the guy's name from, uh, PG-13? Jamie, Jamie Dundee. There you go. Yes. Jamie Dundee, on his, on his personal Facebook account, said that he's very depressed and that he's leaving his family. And this is, this is no joke, by the way. I'm, I'm dead serious. Yeah, I saw he's this. leaving his family, he's very depressed, and he wants to get away from them before he Chris Benoit's them. And Sabu apparently made a joke out of this and said that uh, instead of uh, Nancy and, and, and Chris's son, he should replace them with his dad and somebody else I forgot, which I thought was just really just tasteless. But anyway, what do you think about this, man? This is, I mean, I understand the guy's depressed, but man, you know. couldn't choose better words. I, 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 that, and I, I, why, are, why keep putting all this personal stuff on Facebook? I don't understand why people do this. It's a cry for help, if you ask me. Basically, it's, it's. Oh, I need attention. Well, in his case, he was asking for money. I think. Well, okay. I need money. I need attention. Yeah. I need money. I need this. I need that. You know what? I, I need a blowjob. All right. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not asking you, Shaheen, but you know what? I could use one right now, but I'm not getting one, so <laughs> bunch up. Me, man. <laughs> There's a lot of anyway, things, you know what, I'm, you know what I'm asking for? I'm asking for reviews on iTunes. That's what I'm asking <laughs> for. Let's make this happen. That's what I'm asking for. If if people are asking for money on Facebook and it's happening, I'm asking for iTunes reviews. Let's make this happen. Well, I tried that on Facebook. It didn't work very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Facebook doesn't work very well for us. Fucking bastards. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you fucking bastards, yes. <laughs> but uh, wh what do you think about this, man? I mean, what the fuck, dude? This guy, it's, 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 I mean, and, and people did, did call, like, the police and stuff. So, I mean, it's, it's already taken care of breaking news. This is, like, two weeks old. Right. But it is, it's like, let this thing just die out, you know? It's, I don't know. I just don't see the fascination of putting everything on social media now. I mean, if, if, if you're that bad, maybe you should just check yourself into, like, the the mental institution or something. Go get some help. Don't – I mean, is money going to help everything? I, I guess so. 
Yeah. I sound like an old man know, right man. now, don't I? Don't, don't I sound old? What the fuck? Oh, I am old. That's why. Okay. Well, I, I don't know, man. 40 is the new 30. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, whatever. <laughs> don't <laughs> it, well, it is. It is. It is. 30 is the new 20, man. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking 17, dude. I'm not 27. I'm 17. There you go. Awesome. Awesome. That, that's how I look at it. If I was... 30, I'd That's how I look at it. still be in Florida. Well, you never know, man. Never know. May, may end up back in Florida. Oh, I'm hoping. Yeah. I never know, hoping. man. Anyway, I just I just wanted to mention that. But uh, other than that, uh, I thought this was also interesting. Now, WWE put up a poll on their, on their website. That says who is more deserving of a, of a title shot at WrestleMania, Daniel Bryan or Roman Reigns? Now, please go ahead and take a guess at what the fucking results are so far. Roman Wayne, Roman Reigns, seventy-one percent. Wow! It, well, this is a big surprise to you then. Um, Roman Reigns, ten percent. Daniel Bryan, ninety percent. Wow! Usually the WWE yeah. marks hit that. Oh, that's that's good. I like that. But you know, this is this is just gonna kind of just just feed into the oh, it's just the IWC thing, you know. To so go mm-hmm. on the internet, look at the internet marks. Ninety percent of them say Daniel Bryan. That's how they're gonna look at it. Yeah, I know. You're right. Thank you for I, I don't know, do. dude. Okay. Yeah. Tell us what to <laughs> See what happens when you hit wrong buttons? Sorry about that. Yeah, well, it, it, it kind of made sense because they can't, you know, they can't, they can't tell people what to do, man. People can <laughs> boo what they, you know, what they want. People yes. can do what the fuck they want. Can't tell. If them they come back wear. to Philly and they get booed again, don't bitch. It, it just, you know, people can do that. They paid. Exactly. I agree, Shaheen. And, indeed, but uh. Yeah, man, I, I thought this was very interesting. But, uh, you know, this is not going to help. You know Roman Reigns is going over at, at fast lane, and that's pretty much what's going to happen. This is just, just a way to shut the quote-unquote IWC up for a couple of weeks. And, um, yeah, they're, they're in the fast lane just to get by for another couple of weeks just to shut us up. And then we're on the road to WrestleMania. WrestleMania. Yeah, I mean, basically that Reddit user said that. That's what they're doing is just shutting up the marks, just – here we'll 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 give you a taste, and then we're still gonna do what we want, but we'll give you a taste. Yeah, we'll just shut you off for a couple couple weeks. You know, it's like it's like feeding a fucking pet. You know. Yeah, there you go. You know, here here's some crumbs. Just giving us little snacks. Yeah, a little crumbs, a little bit of crumb. You guys deserve some crumb. Yeah, man, it's like a it's like what I do with my to my dogs. You know. I'm yeah. eating my meal. I give them a little bit of table food, just 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 to shut them up for a little bit. I do the same thing. My, you know, I get yelled at at my house for giving my dog all kinds of food, but I love it. I, I give him stuff. Yeah, it's it's all good. Yeah, you know. I'm actually, here. you know what I started doing? I started. Uh, this is this is weird to say this on on a wrestling podcast, but I actually started cooking for my dogs. So I cook uh, twice a week for them, and I just I pretty much feed them table food now. But I found recipes online where uh, it's, it's it's good for them. Cool, so, man. That's it actually cool. comes out about the same as far as money wise. That's not bad, dude. That's nice. Trust me, they've been look look man, my, good my, shit. my dog ran out of food last night, so I cooked him a hamburger. Okay. Yeah, it's all good, man. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. actually I, I make them uh, usually just brown rice and some vegetables, some peas and carrots and stuff like that. Brown rice, chicken yeah. broth and usually some kind of ground ground meat, either chicken, turkey or ground beef. Very nice. Your dogs are happy dogs. They are happy dogs. They should. They're be. still pissed though. They would. They, they still want my shit. You know. They still want a portion of my shit. Of course they do. They still want. I mean, they, they want what you're eating. Yeah. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. It, it's weird, man. Dogs never understand that they're no longer hungry. They they're just you know born hungry forever. It's fucking weird. I don't know, man. My dog eats and then walks away from his food bowl, comes in the room and goes, eh. Yeah. They, Every they don't time. Understand. Dude, it's like, uh, it's like fucking like goldfish. You know, goldfish can like eat themselves to death. They just that's, eat them until they blow up if you feed them enough. That's why it's you like don't. dogs. Yeah, that's why you don't feed goldfish but a little pinch. A pinch. Right. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They they, they don't know when to stop. No. Like my dog, you know, they just literally, they don't want to stop. I'm sorry, man. But, uh, that's, yeah, well, you don't have to be sorry. But, uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's that's the dog talk talk of the week. But, fucking, uh, yeah, dude, I watched uh, Lockdown last night. Um, do you want to talk about this? I know you, you briefly went over it. You didn't really watch too much of it, neither did I, but we might as well mention it. Yeah, I, I, I breezed through the matches before I came here. I'll actually watch it. Like probably tomorrow sometime when I got a few minutes, but no, I, I breezed. I was busy all day today. I had to take an awning down from my backyard, so it took me all day. Um, yeah, yeah, it wasn't bad. It, it well, was, you know, good matches. I, I saw a couple good matches. Yeah, I saw, actually, I really liked the show, man. Um, they had the Revolution against the Hardy Boys mm-hmm. for the tag titles. Um, and of course, if if you don't know the concept of lockdown, if you didn't get to watch it. Um, every match is in a, in a cage match, in a six-sided steel cage match. So that's that's, that's kind of cool, man. I mean, it's it's once a year, it's fine. Um, the first cage match was the Hardy Boys against the Revolution, and I know a lot of people don't like the Revolution. Me personally, I I think it's great. I'm I'm, I'm a big fan of like you know the gimmicky uh, you know factions and all that. I'm I'm, I'm perfectly fine with it. Yep. So like. Uh, you know, perfect, perfect example. Dungeon of Doom, man. I know a lot of people give them give them shit for it. I fucking love the Dungeon of Doom. I thought it was great. It wasn't really the, the best time in wrestling, but I thought it was it was an okay uh, faction for for a couple months. I liked it. I still like it. I liked it when he was doing it in the beginning. I I, I was saying I, I, how much I liked it. I think it's pretty awesome, dude. He uh, yeah. I mean, like I said, a lot of people compare him to Bray Wyatt, but I I think he's completely different. I mean. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. I, I see the resemblance. I see the resemblance, but I, I mean, can, I can it s- is a yeah. little bit different. But uh, I'm sure they got the idea from from Bray. I think he was doing this a little before Bray got popular. Was he? I don't think it was. I think so. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm not the biggest uh, TNA follower. I'm, so. I'm, I'm trying to think. I mean, he's been doing this gimmick for a while now. A yeah, good... but I mean, Bray's been around for like two years, though, man, at least. I He's been doing this dark gimmick for a while. I'm not sure how long. I'd have to look it up, and I don't feel like doing it. Well, he wasn't doing it before his feud with Magnus. I mean, that was that was less than two years ago, and Bray's been around definitely over two years. Yeah, I guess he wasn't doing it. You're right. He, no, he wasn't doing it with Magnus. You're right because he was he him and they were him and uh, Bobby Roode were teasing a a return. Yeah, maybe not even Magnus. I mean, uh, what's all the guy? Gunner, 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 Gunner. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, was yeah. about a year ago. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So he hasn't been doing this long. All right, I lied. You called me on it. We're good. He's probably only. He's probably only been doing like five six months, maybe. But uh, I, I like the faction, dude. I think uh, I, I like uh, the new mask that, that Manic is wearing. I mean, I know it's not really new anymore. He debuted a couple months ago. But I really like I like the new look. Um, I'm fine with the name Suicide being gone. Um, the new Indian guy. What do you think about this guy? This is my first time seeing this guy. So I'm not really too familiar with him. Guy looks like he's got some potential, in my opinion. Um haven't seen too much from him. He's only been, he's been in one match, I think, since he's been in there, maybe two. So, haven't yeah. seen too much to judge him by. But you know, they said he was like a some huge sign, and he's huge over there in India. So, eh, good for them. Yeah, but I thought I thought this match was pretty decent. This is the infamous match where uh, Jeff Hardy took that bump. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we were talking about before we went on, on air that I I mean it was a crazy bump. But to me personally, I mean, it it it, it was you know blown out of proportion. I mean, it didn't look as bad as people claimed it did. I mean, I thought he literally just landed like face first, or you know, fucking the back of his head hit the edge or uh, edge of the steps or something like. That. I mean, he he knew how to bump it. It still looked terrible. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure it fu- it fucking hurt, but uh. yeah, it, it it he he looked like it was like he knew what was coming and how to take it. He, he definitely bounced off his back pretty hard, but... Yeah. 
he didn't slam yeah. his head. He he definitely had his chin tucked and uh, looked. Uh, it, it, yeah, I mean, like you said, it definitely looked painful, but it didn't look like it. Uh, for some reason, it looked worse on the on the video than it than it did live. Yeah, well, not live. I, I but, thought it was hilarious that uh, Matt Hardy was on. Well, Matt Hardy was on Twitter uh, tweeting live while this was happening, and this guy pretends like you know this this is literally live. Um, which I thought was fucking hilarious, and you know, I guess to his credit, he's keep trying to keep kayfabe alive. You know, Triple H is killing kayfabe apparently. Um, but or you gotta, uh, or you got I don't know, call. man. I mean, this guy commented, this guy commented on Twitter when it actually happened a couple weeks ago at the tapings, mm-hmm. and then apparently he just thinks that he forgot, so he just basically just rehashed his comments and just just you know said them again. While this was happening last night, so it was it was weird to me. Yeah, maybe he uh, maybe he got a phone call and said, "Hey, don't forget to live tweet about your brother that you're worried." Oh, I'm I'm sure he did. Let's I'm hope. sure he did, but uh, it's just weird. I mean, I'm not necessarily saying that. Like, well, yeah, yeah, I'm sure he did, but it's just I don't. Know. Oh no, it's weird. Not a fan of uh, yeah, it's weird. making us look like morons. No, yeah, it's definitely a little. A little weird, I mean, especially, I mean, how many times have we all seen that video? You know? Right, it, it was, was everywhere. It was everywhere for... It what, was everywhere. Uh, uh, almost a month already. Yeah, definitely. You know what that, um, you know what would have made what else that... We got? Right. You, you know what would have made that fall even better? What's that? This. They should play that after every botch spot. <laughs> I definitely every botch spot should have that. Everyone, I think that would have made that fall even better. They should have that, and 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 the guy from uh, what was that? Uh, what was that one fucking place? Um, the Apollo. Remember the Apollo? How how the the comedians would go there, and then they would get booed. Showtime and the, the clown Apollo. would come out every every time a wrestler botches. They should play that song, and, and the clown come up, comes out and just takes him to the back. There you go. They just retire. They just retire. That's it. You fucked up way too bad for this one. Yeah. Well, once they get that song, that's a sign of retirement. They yeah. just retire. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Maybe they can have Pogo the clown come out and, and fucking bury them alive. Oh well, yeah, you can't have Doink anymore. That would have been awesome, but yeah. Do you remember Pogo the Clown? Mm, no, I don't think so. Yeah, he was he, he was a he was a, he was a he was a weird cat. Oh, oh, a weird cat. <laughs> it was a weird cat. I mean, that's not a knock, Insane. but <laughs> I'm not knocking the guy. I but... love that by the way. How many times did he say, I'm not knocking the guy, but in that interview, like 900,000 times? Yeah. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not knocking the cat, but, uh, he's, he'd be he's, like, dude, he's a weird cat. He'd he's be like, cat. oh man, you know, that guy's just a fucking pain in the ass. I mean, I'm not knocking the guy, but, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he came in the locker room thinking he's better than everybody else. I mean, even though he's Clearly not, but I mean, yeah. I'm not knocking the guy. Yeah, he's a weird you know. cat, but yeah, I'm not we're good. No beef, guy. no beef over here. He's just a weird cat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you know. You know, I'm not knocking the guy, but uh, you know. Oh yeah, we're we're definitely not knocking the cat, but uh, I thought that was one yeah. of the best parts of the interview was every time Triple H would would say, well, I mean, I mean, I'm not knocking the guy, but uh, yeah. I like that interview, man. I thought I thought he held his own. Uh, you know, it, if you didn't expect a little bit of that PC Triple H, you 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 you're, you were insane. I mean, he was definitely going to be doing that. It was definitely going to be one of those toe the line, don't want to cause any ripples, you know, interviews. I mean, he has to. He has to. Mm-hmm. Definitely has to. I mean, absolutely. Although we may not like it, you know, in his position, he has to. You know, to better his life, even though his life is, I'm sure, great. I mean, uh, 
Yes, it was his job. Well, That's what a lot bad. of people fail to realize. The guy, you know, he's in that he's in that position of power now. He's not a fucking wrestler anymore. You know, he's not one of the boys. Yeah. Well, I'm sure they still consider him one of the boys. Well, I'm sure the people that worked with him, not the not the new guys they hire. I mean, I'm I'm sure fucking, you know, Hideo Itami doesn't come in looking at him as as one of the boys. I don't know. Who knows? He may. They might, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. They may. They're they're throwing up fucking gang signs and wolf pack signs. So who knows? Yeah, yeah. I saw that last that that little picture of him. That was that was cute. Oh, that was cute. That yeah, was cute. That was very cute. Triple H. Cute. Triple H. Cute. He can make his fingers do stuff. He's awesome. Hey, Dale, Tommy. It's cute. There you go. Fucking throwing up wolf pack signs. Yeah. What is that? What is that? Is that like a thing to the Bullet Club? Or I don't. I don't get it. Is it is it supposed to be like the click sign? Well, like they're the new click, or is it like the Bullet Club? Since you know Finn Balor was the kind of like the captain of the club. I guess Finn's just trying to keep it alive, man. He's trying to keep the spirit alive. Yeah, you He's know, trying to keep it alive, man. Just got to keep it going and flowing. That's how it works. Fucking click, dude. Gotta rep the fucking click, dude. Just what Triple H needs, another fucking click. It's the fucking click, dude. Hmm. You know? Yeah. Triple Just what H, man, that guy is, that guy's gotta be having the time of his life, man. Can oh. you imagine being that guy? Like, being a fucking, you know, he was on the bottom of the totem pole, man. I mean, this guy was fucking garbage in the beginning. And then you should look at him now. It's like, what the fuck, man? Can you imagine being this guy, though? I mean, he was looked down on. He was shitted on for years, and now he's a boss. I mean, could I imagine? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I could imagine. He's definitely... Yeah, I mean, he's... I mean, this is... If, uh, unless Shane comes back, this is all going to be his one day, man. His and Stephanie's. So well, I'm. I'd be happy with him, man. He looks like he, he'd be a, you know, be a good good person to be in charge. I think it'd, be, it'd honestly be in better hands. Not to knock Vince. I mean, Vince put out a great bra. I just think he's he's out of touch right now. I know a lot of people are saying he's out of touch. That's kind of a fucking cliche thing to say now, but yeah, it's true. You know, can't can't deny the facts. The guy is out of touch. He's bringing out bunnies and fucking. You know, all this shit, like it's it's the 1987 fucking Survivor Series with the rooster, you know? I mean, you're not knocking the guy, but... I'm not, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm, not, I'm not knocking the guy. <laughs> you know? he's, just, he's just a weird cat, you know? He's just a weird cat. It's a weird that cat. That likes to book weird shit. Like, he wanted to do a, a, a fucking angle where he was banging his daughter. He's just a weird cat, you know? I'm not knocking the guy. It's just a weird dude. I don't know. Yeah. A weird cat. That, that... That definitely would have been weird cat material. Yeah, that's my dog, though. <laughs> Fucking Benny McMahon. That's my dog. <laughs> people still say that? Uh, I don't think people say that anymore. I'm not 100% sure what the cool kids are saying now. I'm uh, I'm old, and uh, I got young kids who uh, who don't do all that yet. Don't say dog. My they, don't, they don't say. They don't use pets as slang. My six-year-old don't come in. Yo, what up, dog? <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, I don't think anybody say. says dog anymore. It's fucking... I think that's outdated. Probably only Randy Jackson from American Idol. <laughs> he does He does say dog. He <laughs> loves... He calls everybody oh, his man, dog. Oh, man, I hate that guy, dude. Fuck that guy. And Arsenio Hall. He's got to oh, have his dude. dog pound. Well, that's... Arsenio Hall, that's my, that's my dog. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. that show's gone, so. Is it already? I thought it came back. It did. And it's gone already? Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I guess I guess he's got to retire now. 
Eddie Murphy will get him. That a was job. the last run. Eddie Murphy will get him a job. You think so? I don't even know if they have a good relationship anymore. I don't know, man. But that goddamn movie Harlem Nights was badass. Oh, yeah, that was a great movie. I love that movie. I ain't lying. I love that movie. But Arsenio Hall wasn't in that. That was that was Eddie yeah. Murphy and Richard Pryor. And Arsenio Hall was in it. He Shit, was, was he? He's the one that, that um, they killed the guy Tommy, and that was his brother. And he kept going, oh, I'm going to kill quick. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. Yeah, that was Arsenio Hall in that movie. I don't remember that. Yep, he was in, he was in that. one. I do remember him from uh, Welcome to America, though. That's that's one of my all time favorites. Coming to America. Whatever, Welcome to America, Coming to well, give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean, man. You know what I mean. I that's why I said the name of it because I knew what you meant. You're a dick. Oh, calm down. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> But uh, no, honestly, that that's a that's a fucking classic. If anybody hasn't seen that, check yeah. that one out. That Great is a movie. good movie. I, I I do like that one. That is definitely a good movie. It's a good one. Yeah, that is a. What good What other movie. Eddie Murphy movies are good? Does he have any other good ones? Beverly Hills Cop one and two. Nah, I wasn't. I wasn't really too big on those. I I, I you know me and my mm -hmm. cop shows. Beverly Hills Cops were good. Um. Uh, 48 Metro. Hours, I didn't 48 really Hours, like. obviously. Metro. He did another cop movie called Metro with uh, Michael Rappaport. Yeah, I never saw that one. I liked um, it. I liked his later movies. I mean, Nutty Professor, I actually like. Yeah, that was a good one. Dr. Doolittle wasn't yeah. bad. Yeah, it wasn't too bad for like a kid's movie, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I do like yeah. bad movies. He 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 did some terrible movies recently though. Jesus, he yeah. did um, he did Norbit, which was just mm -hmm. garbage, just just at its purest form, just fucking garbage. <laughs> that was terrible. Um, he did another movie where he he like he couldn't speak anymore or something, or he had like a certain amount of words before he ran out of life or some weird concept. Oh yeah, that movie yeah. was garbage. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was like a tree in his backyard that represented his, you know, what he has left of life. And yeah, I didn't see it. Every word about it. Spoke a leaf fell, and it was just weird. It's fucking weird. Yeah, I heard about it. Well, you shouldn't have, because uh, it's a waste of words, and I I regret watching it for free. I mean, I usually like bad movies I mean I was watching Class Act the other night with Kid and Play yeah that's probably that's, that's uh, not probably that's definitely better than that fucking uh, Eddie Murphy movie I'll, I'll really? tell you that dude and there was something I've been wanting to watch all day and I'm gonna go home I have it on DVD I'm watching it this What's is that? not a it's not a bad movie it's probably one of the greatest movies ever made and it's The Last Dragon the Last Dragon. Uh, don't remember it. Enlighten me. Oh my God, dude! Show enough. What is it? It's an '80s movie. No, I don't know. Oh, it's an '80s movie. It's 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 got this guy. I think his name is Taimak. T A I M A K or something like that. I think that's his name. Is it, is it a is it? Is it like a martial arts movie? It's like a. It is, but it's kind of a spoof on a martial arts movie. In a way. Like a Kung Fu Pal? Kinda. Kinda. That movie sucked, dude. That movie was garbage. You know what a you good seen that? You know what a good martial arts spoof was though? Okay. I'm gonna get you sucker. Which one? I'm gonna get you sucker. I think I've seen that one actually with the black dude. You wanna narrow that down a little bit, Shaheen? I don't know it was with the black dude. I don't know his name. It's got the 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 Wayan brothers. Does it? Yeah, it's got uh, yeah all yeah. the Wayan brothers. I seen it years ago. And uh, you know what's a good movie with the, with the with the Wayans brothers? It was that fucking uh, what was it called? Uh, like Airball or something? Airplay, Airball, something. It was it was a basketball movie. 
Um, was it the one where the the ghost is chasing him around and he gets? Like, I think I don't know. Was it? I don't remember. I, I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, see, people yeah, in the cool. chat room, people in the chat room know about Last Dragon. They know what's up. Bruce Leroy, show enough. Who's the master? There you go, man. Well, maybe I gotta check it out then. Fuck, I don't know. You gotta check out Last Dragon. You got to. Well, I'll check it out. Yeah. Uh, what's 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 another good one from the from the Wayne's Brothers? It was uh, I know one more. I like all it those. That, uh, I like the scary movie ones. Oh, those ones are terrible, man. The first one was fine. After oh, I like them. After that, it, just, it went downhill. You give me. I some mean, it's 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 good, like mindless. You know, fucking entertainment, I guess. If oh, you yeah. just want to sit around and just waste time, it's fine. But it does get repetitive. The Sixth Man. That Was that the name you're thinking of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weeble in the chat. Maybe. I don't know where I got Airball. I don't know why I have Airball. I don't know. Well, Leave you, me alone. You were probably thinking of the dog movie, Air Bud. I know how you are. No. <laughs> I, do, but I don't know why. I don't know where Airplay came from. Airball, Airplay. I don't know. There you go. We will nail don't it for know. you. Don't ask me. There I don't go. know. No big deal. <laughs> white yeah. chicks. See, I didn't I guess like we get back chicks. to lockdown. <laughs> we went from lockdown to Eddie Murphy. I don't Dude, know. This, this, fuck this. Fuck. This is a Saturday show. Fuck all that. Yeah, we have we have no rules on the Saturday show. There's no nah, conflict. You just kind of go. Fuck that. You want you want wrestling talk? Listen to us Tuesday. We'll talk about Raw. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna watch. <laughs> we'll talk about Raw. Yeah, I was gonna watch Lucha yeah. Underground tonight, but I'll probably watch it tomorrow. Who was on? Who was on this week's Lucha Underground? I don't know, but I think this was. Uh, was this the debut of of Del Rio? I don't, I don't know. I don't want to look up the results cause, because I'm going to watch it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to check I mean, out I could the pull results. it up. I have it recorded, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure they debuted somebody. They've been debuting somebody every fucking week. Oh, uh, if, they, if they announced a debut, it's probably Del Rio. I don't know. Would it be this this soon? Uh, I mean, are yeah, they doing like? Yeah, when, are they maybe. On the, are they on the TNA schedule? I don't know, but I know that they did some some. Uh, they did some tapings a couple of weeks ago, so I guess. They, I mean, it would make sense if it's this week or next week. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe. Actually, I I don't have the latest episode. My uh. My Lucha Underground is on Unimas, and it, it, it's on Sundays, actually. So I'll, I'll watch it tomorrow. There you go. Yes, I'm going I'm to I'm check it out tomorrow. Yeah. Lucha Underground. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely check that out tomorrow. Yeah. Do you eat tacos while you watch Lucha Underground or no? No. Sh sh Why? Are you racist or something? I eat burritos like everybody else. Oh, you're a dick, dude. <laughs> got to got to go up, man. You got to you got to you got to do the whole thing, man. You got to get the tacos, you got to drink your tequila. Oh, dude, I'll drink you some know? tequila. Up. No, but, well, I see I, I I we have Taco Tuesday at my house cuz of my 6-year-old heard it on SpongeBob. Yeah, well, you should watch your Lucha Underground on Tuesdays. There you go. So now every single Tuesday, well, we have shows on Tuesday. So before the before the show, I have to scarf down tacos every Tuesday. That's reckless. Hey, man, I got to do what I got to do. You got kids. I just right. Yeah. Do what you got to do. Yeah, I hear you, man. I, I cook for my dog, so I can't really say much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I I better just you know shut the fuck up over here. Um, oh, damn right. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Anyway. Woo! That's what I say. Fucking Ric Flair, man. Fuck yeah. I'm feeling like fucking Ric Flair on this Saturday night, man. All right, w w uh, what you drinking? I'm not drinking anything. I'm just 
walking around in my robe, man. I'm about to go expose myself to some random people. You're not drinking nothing? No, I'm not drinking Shit, nothing. Shit, I got me some Red Stripe. There you go, man. What the hell is that? You've never even had, even at Red Stripe? Jamaican, Jamaican beer, man. Ah. Jamaican rum? Jamaican beer. Oh, beer. No, I've never had. I'm not really a, I don't know. I mean, I drink beer, but I'm not too big on beer. Oh, yeah. Red Stripe, I have I love me some Red Stripe. Nice. Maybe I'll, oh, maybe yeah. I'll get me some Red Stripe one day. Careful. It's got some punch. Yeah, it's fine, man. Yeah, it's got a good, good, little, <clears throat> good little nail to it. That's fine. Yeah. little. Uh, you get little 11.2 fluid ounce bottles. They're not even 12 ounces, but they're uh, it's good shit, man. Yeah, it's good shit. But uh, dude, I'm 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 fucking hyped for uh, CZW in two weeks, man. Nice. That's right. You said you were going, didn't you? I am going. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, Tony Rufo going. Mike is going from from the Facebook page. Uh, Ryan's going from the Facebook page. Uh, Steve's cousin. He's actually a wrestler for uh, On Point. He's a tag team champion. So shout out to them. Check out On Point Wrestling. They do some uh, shows out here. Support indie wrestling if you want to fucking you know a variety of different different types of wrestling. Watch some indie wrestling. Goddamn people complaining and bitching about WWE. There's all this shit out there, man. There's all this shit out there. And this year, there's tons of it. There's New Japan on TV now. Lucha Underground's on TV now. Uh, and depending on where you are. Check check your local cable listings. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Uh, have you have you checked out the New Japan Network yet? New Japan World. I haven't. Uh, it is free for the month, and I have not signed up for it yet. I'm probably a dumbass for not signing up for it because it's free. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to check it out. Yeah, I I I, I think I might too. Um, no reason not to. It's free for the month. Might as well get it. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah. Do you think they have like uh, like old matches with like Vader and and Bam Bam Bigelow and shit? Good question. I have no clue. Anybody in the chat room, if you've uh, subscribed to New Japan World, are there any Vader and Bam Bam Bigelow matches, or Abdul the Butcher, or any fucking random classics from uh, the '80s and '90s? That'd on probably, New Japan, please, please inform a, me. That'd probably be a good one to post on the Facebook too. A question because uh, chat room's a little light tonight. It is a Saturday. That is true. The, but uh, these two guys ain't gonna watch much Jap wrestling. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of, I, I know that. Yeah, there's, Actually, there's, I mean, I don't know, man. Do you think really? Do you think there's a huge market in in America for for Japanese wrestling? I think, I think it could be. Um, it's different. People are looking for different right now, which I think might be why a lot of these new companies are starting to get deals because people are starting to look for for different stuff than WWE. So, it's I mean, it's a different yeah. style, a different feel. It's a completely different show. So, why not? I mean, yeah. I mean, it, 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 we need something, so I'm sure it would definitely be a uh, something that could definitely get get big, given given some time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I I, I really want to check the network out. I'll probably do that. Um, I've followed New Japan off and on. Um, I've never followed them like like on a weekly basis. Yeah, but uh, I definitely like to. I mean, I, are there? Do you know anything about the network? Because I don't. I don't know much about it. But mm -hmm. if there's like weekly shows, I'd definitely be interested in keeping up with that. I would think there is. I'm not. I'm not sure, man. You're gonna have to probably go to their site. They, they probably have tons of info right there. Well, I don't. I don't speak Japanese, dude. Well, I would figure their site's in English. Google has a translate option, you know. Oh, shit. 
2015. Yeah, we're in 2015. Technology, bitch. Yeah, I forgot we're in 2015. <laughs> Tech fucking knowledge. Tech fucking knowledge. That's wild, man. That is yeah. wild. That's that's the world. Technology's gonna be our downfall, though. That's gonna kill us. That's some wild and crazy stuff. Cookie. Technology's yeah. definitely gonna take us down, dude. We're fucked. Oh man, probably one day, but I don't care. I'm good. You don't care. Nah. What do you mean, man? Nah. Technology technically could make us live longer. We don't know. We'll see. Let's see what happens, man. I mean, not technically. It can make us live longer. Well, yeah, it is right now. You're right. You're correct, sir. But it it can potentially just kill us all at one second, though. That's the part that scares me. You know, I, I actually I saw this today. They said if uh, every country kind of used their uh, nuclear weapons at once, like if, if there were to be like a World War Three. Mm -hmm. It'd definitely be like the end of the world because all, all the nuclear weapons, if, if all those go off, they said it could kill every single person 20 times over. So technology would fuck us over. Bad. Well, thanks, Shaheen. That's good to know. Um, I, I'm, so are, I'm, are you depressed yet? I really feel great about the future. Yeah, thanks. it's amazing. I appreciate that. Um, it's amazing. Yeah, you know yeah. what? You know what'll make you feel great about the future is is Instagram and Twitter. Oh yeah, I mean, it's amazing. Yeah, absolutely, I'm I'm just absolutely. I mean, Instagram, Twitter, even Facebook, just can't. You know, it's it's just awesome. Yeah, Instagram, man. That some of the shit I see on there, man. I just I I can't believe it. These these thirteen and fourteen year olds, somebody needs to whoop their ass. I don't know what's going on here <laughs> and i don't have kids but you know if, if you need some if you need me to volunteer to give him permission we can make that happen damn Shaheen. there you go man damn Shaheen. so uh new business new, new business, business. <laughs> <laughs> pay me and i'll, I'll train your kids <laughs> nice you know Let's make this happen, folks. It's for a better future, a better America. America. And, uh, let's make my pocket fat. And uh, let's take off your belts and let's make this happen. America. 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 There you go. The Hot Tag Podcast for twenty six for uh, twenty sixteen. Mm hmm. I was gonna say twenty fifteen. America. Maybe twenty fifteen. There you go. We're taking over either way. We're taking, We're taking over, over America. America. We're taking over, bitches. Taking over, motherfucker. Yeah. You know it. Straight from the West Coast, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. Huh? Straight out the motherfucking West Coast. Right. Right. Actually, the exact opposite from the East Coast, I guess, but... Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm, I'm not even sure what coast I'm from. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of the... the oh, you, you'd coast. be from the South. Oh, the South Coast. Well, I guess. I'm not even from a fucking coast. I'm just from the south, I guess. Yeah, you're just south. You're yeah, just southern. I think think that's how they would. You're do that. southerner. You're just you're just you're just one of them south. southern folks, man. Uh oh. You know who else is a southern folk? Who? It was a motherfucking gooch, man. Man, just oh. stepping the building, man. Talk talking about dirty south, man. Can't be talking about the dirty south. That gooch man over here, man. You came in to support the South, man. You from the South, boy. I ain't, I ain't know you was from the South. Yeah, yeah. Texas, man. Texas, man. Would you, would you be barbecuing down there and shit? Oh, everybody. They got big yeah. boy bitches down there? Dude, everything's bigger in Texas. They got bigger booties, too. Everything's bigger in Texas. Oh, man. That's what's happening up there, man. I got I got to make it down to Texas there, man. Houston, <laughs> man. That, I heard that way at, man. You know, I got gold TV and shit, man. We can come down to Houston. We can get you some gold TV and shit, man. We drink some motherfucking beer. We we get some, get some bitch and we sniff some cocaine. We made this happen, man. Gucci Man up for president in 2016, man. Let's make this happen. Gucci Man, the CHG podcast. Motherfucker, South taking over, man. All right, man. Get the fuck.
No, sorry about that. This guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That fucking how guy. He, can... he just fucking just interrupts me every fucking week, man. I don't know how he makes this. Does he breathe? He just fucking. No, he just fucking busts into the door and just takes over the goddamn podcast and just walks out. God damn. Without saying excuse me. Without saying thank you. Motherfucker says Without like. giving us a shout out. He just plugs his shit and leaves. Says like 700 words and doesn't, doesn't even take a breath. God, how do you do that? I, it's crazy. I don't know. It's fucking wild, dude. Man, that guy should be Maybe reading. Maybe it's the gold teeth. I don't know. Maybe don't it's know. the gold teeth. Maybe they give you uh, some super strength or something. I don't know. Super, 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 super gum. I don't, who fucking knows? I don't know. All I know is that motherfucker can talk. God damn. Yeah. Damn. You got any news this week on, on some wrestling, man? <sighs> Let me look. Do I have... Uh, Jesus Christ. Do I have anything here? See, we got some motherfucking news, man. Uh, By the way, you know who else is in the news, which isn't a shocker? Since we're not even talking about wrestling this week, let's talk about this for a second. No, go ahead. While go ahead. you find some wrestling news. Uh, Sugar Knight, did you hear about this? I heard he uh, ran somebody over. <laughs> Yeah, man. Jesus Why is that Christ, funny? Dude. Why did I laugh at that? <laughs> dude, he, he ran over the guy he came with. Well, well, that, 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 that's not nice. Right. He arrived to the fucking facility with this guy, and he ended up running him over. And once he ran him over, he fucking, <laughs> he ran him over again. He crushed the guy's skull. The guy died. Now he's getting fucking charged with, uh, I don't know if it's manslaughter or murder, but he's, he's getting charged. Wow, dude. It's like every, every, every year he, he has to do something crazy. The guy, I think he, I think it was in the news a couple of years ago where he got shot like 10, 12 times. Then he got shot again. Then he got shot again. Well, if you listen to, then he uh... probably shot somebody. And then he got shot again. Damn. Well, I mean, if you listen to... he ran to, over somebody. There you go. I mean, if you listen to Vanilla Ice, the guy's not a good guy. <laughs> like, yeah, apparently he uh he had Vanilla Ice fucking hanging from the balcony by his ankles. And, yeah. and he signed over the rights to the Ice Ice Baby song. Mm-hmm. I know. Yeah. If you ever saw the wild, movie... Uh, if you ever saw that Adam Sandler movie, um, That's My Boy... Yeah, that's a terrible movie. I know, but he's in it, and one of the it's funny what he said. Man, every time that song plays, I owe money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I thought funny. Vanilla Ice was the best part of that movie. <laughs> Probably is, man. That movie sucked. I don't know, man. I I, I saw him. That when movie he did, was terrible. That dude. movie, it it was it, it was just. I mean, like I've said, Adam Sandler gets twenty million dollars for Baby Talk, and. Yeah, and man. more power to him. I am not cracking on the guy. I like some of his movies. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not either. I'm not hating on the guy, but it's just that movie was not good. No, wasn't great. But it it, it was decent. I don't know. It was all right. It, it, it just wasn't good. I get it. it. was it was fun. It was well, fun. It, 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 let's put it this way. In my opinion, it just it, it didn't appeal to me. No, but it, you know, it, it was what it was. Just another Sandler movie. He probably made a killing off of it. And uh, on to the next one. Yeah, what was that other movie that uh, he played like his own sister? Oh, I didn't see that, dude. I didn't yeah, see that. Yeah, that was one. even worse. Yeah, that was, they're, look, that was... I, I, I got some standards when it comes to movies. Not many. Yeah, it was shameful. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I got very... Very few movie standards, but 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 that I won't watch. No, I won't yeah. do it. I won't do it. Won't do it. I won't do it. Now you want me to watch like won't something like 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 I'll watch like 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 see the good Sandler movies are like like the Grown Ups movies, uh, Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore. I love those. Yeah, those are classics. Those are. The, the good ones, and then you know, I'll even, even watch. Even Big Daddy was all right. I like Big Daddy. I'll even watch Fifty First Dates, Wedding Singer. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't that bad. Um, Mr. Deeds was actually good. I like Mr. Deeds. I like Mr. Deeds. That, that was that was a good one. But I mean, the, the other two. I mean, anything with uh, Drew Barrymore is just so hot. You you have to watch it. You know, you got to watch. 
Nah, she's all right. Ah, she's awesome, dude. She's like girl next door hot. Like, she'd be the kind of girl you could probably pick up, you know, like, I don't know. She's just... Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just, honestly, the most, like, I I find her attractive. The thing that turns me off is the way she speaks. Uh, I kind of like that, that little kind of almost... Like lisp? Like, um, yeah. You know who else has that that I like? That Jodie Foster. Um, she kind of has that. She plan. Oh, Silence of the Lambs. Oh, Jodie Foster. Okay. Yeah, yeah she um, kind of has that talk out of the side know. of her mouth kind of. I, I, I kind of like that. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't really find her too attractive. But Drew Barrymore, she's just fine. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like I like. She could get the D. Yeah, she I like could get some, the D, man. Yeah, man. I like me some Drew Barrymore. I do, yeah, man. I do. When, uh, when, when Gucci Man comes to Texas, man, you should hang out with the guy. Yeah, I'll be sure to do that. I'll, um... Yeah. When is he getting out of jail? I'm sure we... Um, I don't know. Apparently every fucking week when we do a show, because the guy just fucking pops in the room and just comes here and does a 10-second plug for his shit. I don't know, but, man. I, mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, we I haven't know. even... When, whenever he's done getting a booty raped. Yeah, I mean, we haven't even given out our phone number yet, and this motherfucker just can't stop calling. Yeah. 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 yeah he, ma- he makes it happen. He makes he it does. happen. Somehow, some way, he makes an appearance. I mean, we finally get a, get our get our phones working and or whatever we're going to have. And, you know, what the fuck? Yeah. So, Indeed. Yeah. Well, uh, just so everybody knows, we did get, uh, we do have a phone line now or it's, uh, it's something through Google Hangout. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll start taking some calls Tuesday, I guess. Right? Yeah. 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 Why not? Yeah, I'm not sure anyone's going to call tonight. I mean, we could... Well, if anybody wants to call in, give them the number anyway. All right. It is 585-632-4869. But there's a small catch. you got to dial a PIN, five digits. The PIN is 96950. Again, that's... 96950. Yep, 585-632-4869. The phone number, the PIN, 96950. The PIN's basically just a routing, puts you right through to our... uh, You'll actually join us right here in the Hangout when you do that. But you can call from any phone. There you go. Yeah, so uh, if you want to call... Pretty easy. I tested it the other night. It seemed to work pretty damn good. So uh, if you want to call and be our uh, our guinea pig, call up. There you go. We'll get you on the call line. up, guinea pig. We'll get you on the line. You can be the you can be the lab rat. There you go. We could use a couple. So yeah. All right. Do you think there's still such thing as like wrestling rats? Do they still bang wrestlers? I'm sure there's somewhere out there. Like who? Like name 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 a couple wrestlers that that you think are banging rats. Roman Reigns probably Still. could be. Oh, that that all. Nah, man, that dude is. Nah, man, that dude got married like two months ago, man. That dude is fucking like. Yeah, let's he looks think like a sweet. Here. Who's probably? That dude is not banging. I would He's say... not banging random badge on on tour, dude. I would say Fandango probably has some rats. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Yeah, yeah Fandango, I'll, he looks like a, he looks like a nice nice scumbag. I'll bet Justin Gabriel. They showed on Total Divas Justin Gabriel getting a couple of them. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. that guy's probably banging rats. Probably was, probably probably even more now off the fucking WWE circuit. Um Hmm. I don't know, I'm man. Trying to think who else. Those those are those are two pretty good ones. Um Zack Ryder? Man. Zack Ryder, maybe I don't know. Uh, Dolph Ziggler, probably. I think Ziggler's probably banging a bunch of rats. Probably. Why do they call them rats? I don't. Why do they call them rats? I don't know. I guess they used to swarm you like rats at one point. Doesn't sound very sexy. Mm mm. Banging a rat. What's that yeah. happening, man? I just... Sniffed a lot of coke, banged some rats backstage, dude. 
you know, the usual banging rats and shit. Yeah, probably. Doesn't sound sound good, you know? No, it doesn't sound good. At all. Call them something else. At least groupies was like, I don't know. Groupies, that's good. Groupies, groupies. That's good. Yeah. Better than a rat. Uh, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Fucking ring rats, man. That's what they call them. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, what about see. Dean Ambrose? Probably before, but I through the uh, through the through the dirt sheets. I think he's dating Renee Young. Oh, the goddamn dirt sheets! Yeah, fucking dirt sheets out of the out by the of way, the, out of it. By the way, are you on the dirt sheets? Right now, no. Well, see if you can get on the dirt sheets. Get some news. I've got a. If there's couple. any. I mean, I've got, you know, who put the rumble together. They're saying Jamie Noble was responsible for that shit. Uh, he put together yeah, mo him, and, him and Joey Mercury, Michael Hayes, Pat Patterson, and Road Dog. Man, Road Dog should have known better. <laughs> Man, Pat yeah. Patterson should have known better. Yeah, I don't know. But, um, yeah, that was it. I'm WWE. surprised he's still involved. Is he, is he still involved? Like, I thought he was he was done with booking and shit. Mm -mm. He's still. They say he's like the main finisher guy they go to for the finish for like how to how to finish a match. Really. Mm hmm. Man. Yeah. It's crazy. That's it. That is crazy. Do you think Do you think Pat Patterson gets like uh, dude ring rats? Oh God! Do I have to think about this? I'm gonna ask the question. I think he's yeah, getting like side dick from like like groupies. Oh Jesus Christ! I don't even want to think about that, dude. Come on, come on. Fan slanging the sauces to Pat Patterson. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Gay. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome for the mental images. You're gonna be scarred for life. Run, 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 run. Yeah, man. Honestly, though, you don't think so, dude? Anything can happen. There's, there's, there's fans of everybody out there. I mean, Billy Jack Haynes was like was getting banged with that dude for like a couple of years, wasn't he? Dude, Andre got rats. Yeah, but Andre was like. He was like something else, dude. He was like, like people probably would just slap with him just so they could say that. They'd I mean, probably. I guess it's the same with wrestlers, but I mean, he was like a, he was like a fucking special specimen, man. He was like a fucking alien. They just wanted to see that giant cock. There you go, man. That was it, man. That's a huge bitch. <laughs> That's a huge bitch. That's a huge bitch. <laughs> There you go, man. There Don't be disrespecting go. Andre, man. Hey, he was a huge bitch. Oh man, you're gonna you're going to hell now. Oh no, I meant that in the nicest way possible. Oh man, that's that's reckless. He he got a he got in some some kind of brawl with a Bad News Brown. I heard on on a on a, on a shoot interview. Hmm. It's an odd, it's an odd matchup. I would say. Yeah. That does sound like an odd matchup. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I got reading the chat. Everyone's saying that Patterson can still walk into the Blue Oyster Bar from the police academy. There you go, man. I'm telling you, <laughs> Pat Patterson is still out there slinging his dick, man. All right, that's that's another '80s reference. Do you get that one? Have you no. seen the Police Academy movies? Yeah, but they saw too. God damn, I feel old. They're good in their own way. I will not hear this from you. You will not disrespect Police Academy movies. Dude, I actually have the box set. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Leave like, it at well, that. Five or six. I have the box set. Well, I mean, I have it. It doesn't. I mean, it's all right. I don't really care for them. I like the. I, I, 
I do like the first couple. Yeah. Believe cool. me, there's there's like hundreds of '80s movies I love. It's just you know those Beverly Hills Cop and, and Police Academy. I'm not a big fan of. Yeah, go. I'm I'm more of a cop movie guy. I mean, dude, '80s. I mean, if you really want to get into '80s movies, I mean, please. I mean, I'll go right to Breakfast Club. Yeah, that's a good movie. Oh, but, uh, fucking Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah, that's a, that's a classic. Oh I like a lot God. of horror movies from the '80s. You know, Lost Boys. Yeah, eh, I'm not too big on vampires. That was an all right movie, though. The uh, the Goonies, fucking, my God, dude! I could think of so many '80s. You know what movies. movie I love, man? You know what movie I love? Tell me. Uh, Reanimator. I don't think I've ever seen that. Re-animator. Oh man, uh, H.R. Geiger, I think was the name. Was it H.R. Geiger? No, that's a fucking artist. Oh, what's his name? H.P. Lovecraft. I'm sorry. H.P. Lovecraft, uh, Reanimator. Nice. Great movie. Check it out. Check, yeah, it out. check that out. It's almost like a Frankenstein type of movie. Mm-hmm. But not really. He brings, he, it's, a, it's like a crazy doctor. He brings people back from the dead. Really great movie, though. Great oh. special effects for the 80s. Nice. Yeah, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Let's see here. Are Anything? you big on horror movies or no? Not really. I mean, I I like a few, but I don't know. Man. Yeah, all I, all I pretty much like is comedies and horror. Yeah, I mean, there's a few that are. I mean, like movies like Christine. I love Christine, the the, the Stephen King movie about the car. Yeah, I don't know why. That's what the hell, movie. man, Christine? The movie about the car, the possessed car. Yes, I I know which movie, man. I, I know love which that movie. movie. You really like that movie? Hell yes. What the fuck is wrong with you? You want me to start out? You want to go al- alphabetically? If if you'd like. <laughs> I, I don't think we should. But we're gonna we're gonna be here for a lot longer than you expected. <laughs> I mean, I got a lot of problems. Uh, man. You don't want to get in that, dear. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe we should skip some of them, man. All right. Dirty Dancing. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Roadhouse. All right. Bloodsport. If we start losing listeners, I completely understand. I'm, I'm with you, folks. All right. Bloodsport. What that? Dirty Dancing, man. All right. Bloodsport. Let's go Bloodsport. So, yeah. All right. There we go. All Thank right. you. All right. Fucking Dirty Dancing, man. We went from talking about deathmatch wrestling and shit to Dirty Dancing. What the fuck? Hey, man. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Man, Dirty (laughs) Dancing is terrible. No, it's not, dude. You just gotta you just gotta watch movies for what they are. Sometimes ridiculous. Um. Basically, Dirty Dancing is a pedophile movie if you really break it down. So we probably shouldn't get in. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather not, man. I just, I don't know, man. I'm not into like romantic movies. I'm not into like feminine movies. It's not really. It doesn't appeal to me. God. I'll tell you what, The Predator is a good match. Terminator. I mean, that's a good match. Uh, Predator, yeah. Terminator, Rambo, yeah. fucking all those movies are great. You know, Bloodsport, like you said. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What did I watch the other night? wasn't an eighties movie, but um, for some reason on my cable, you can find a Stallone movie on almost any time. Demolition Man was on. Yeah, that was a good movie. That, that was, was with, uh, Wesley Snipes, right? Wesley Snipes, uh, Sandra Bullock. I love me some Sandra Bullock. Yeah, that was a good movie. Yeah, yeah. That you is... know what's a good uh, uh, Schwarzenegger movie? Uh, Running Man. That's an underrated movie. Oh yeah, yeah. Jesse's in it. Ventura. I love that movie. Ventura's in that movie. Yeah, I love that movie. Uh, Yafit Kodo is in that movie. Yeah, I don't know that guy. He was from, uh, he did a little uh, a little 90s uh, cop drama called Homicide, Life on the Street. He was the uh, the captain. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you know me and my cop shows, dude. I love me some cop shows. Yeah, I'm not too big into cop shows. Yeah, yeah, he oh, was movie. in that. 
Yeah, he was in that movie. That was a great. Uh, that was a good movie. And like I said, Jesse even Jesse Jesse was in that movie. Yeah, RoboCop was awesome. Also, fuck yeah, RoboCop Two was even awesome. Yeah, um, the first first Child's Play was good. Yeah, I did um, like that. First one was good. Fucking uh, e. Nightmare on Elm Street, of course. E. T. Yeah, E. T. was awesome. Yeah, Jaws. Better not. Uh, Jurassic e. Park. I think that was in the nineties, though. Jurassic Park was, yeah. Um, Pump up else? the volume. Which one? Pump up the volume. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was an 80s movie. Christian Slater? Uh, Christian Slater. Christian Slater is a pirate radio DJ. Now you got me wondering when that That's was a, made. It's a wild concept. It was a good movie. Um, what's her name? The girl from... Did you ever see the movie Broken Arrow with Kristen Slater and John Travolta? Nah. All right. Then I, you probably won't know the girl from that. Dude, you know what's Face in Off that? was a good movie, though. Face Off was a good movie. Face Off was definitely a good movie. Almost any movie with fucking Travolta. Oh, Red Heat. There we go. There's an awesome Schwarzenegger movie. Schwarzenegger and Belushi. That's an awesome one. The Prince Red Heat? Red Heat, short, yup. Well, I gotta check that out. That is a good one. Raw Deal, what about uh, your, What about Eraser? I liked Eraser. Yeah. I um, like that. What's that other movie that Schwarzenegger did? Jesus. The Burbs. Was like I, was, the, I was watching The, the, the Burbs the other night. Huh? It was a space movie. Schwarzenegger in a space movie? Yeah, I think. Wow. All right, pump up the volume. Uh, Total Recall. Total, Total recall. recall. Oh, yeah, there we go. I got to get the mods. Yeah, it's a good movie. Beetlejuice. There you go, oh. guys. Beetlejuice. Oh, yeah, Beetlejuice was awesome. Yeah, definitely. And they mentioned the Beetlejuice. Burbs. Beetlejuice. And they mentioned, yeah, the Burbs, which I saw on, um, I saw the other night. And, you know, I'm watching the Burbs. And we all know how Sam Roberts always says, what's the haps, right? Right. Corey Feldman said it in that movie. Really? Yes, he did. He was on the phone with one Sam of his... Sam Roberts, uh, man. He stole it. Can, 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 we start, can we start something new today? Sure. We're going to, from now on, I'm, I'm just going to, hopefully, hopefully you'd like this idea. Let's have a dick of the week. Every week, we, where we have a dick of the week, and let's this week nominate Sam Roberts for for stealing the gimmick. So Sam you Roberts, please dick. please go ahead and press that button. Yeah, press it one more you time for this day. Dick. There you go. You so Sam dick. Roberts, you're the dick of the week. There you go. Just for just we should for do that every week, man. Once a week, we nominate somebody for your dick. There we go. Sam wins it this week, even Good. though we both even though we both love the guy. But anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I mean, you know, no, no, no disrespect to the guy. He's oh yeah, I mean, cat. we're not knocking the guy, but uh... <laughs> we're definitely not knocking <laughs> the guy. Not, we're not knocking the guy, but what a dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what a dick. You know, weird, weird cat with weird hair. Total dick, but we're not knocking the guy. No, total weird hair. So, yeah, all right, come total on, total weirdo. Come on, total Chad. weirdo in general. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I guess we can. If we ever get big, we'll never be able to do anything with Sam Roberts now. Yeah. He's on Opie and Anthony. He's been called much worse by much better than us. <laughs> I, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Um, what else we got, man? Do you have any news up from this week? Uh, Let's see. What did I have? Oh, my God. We forgot Back to the Future. We forgot Ghostbusters. I'm, I, I just thought of those two. Oh, yeah, Ghostbusters is great. Ghost Back Buster. to the Future is good. Um, the Lost Ark? Fuck, man. Raiders well, of the Lost Ark? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Indiana uh, Jones is awesome. Um, let me see. Yeah, looks like... Um, sure. What else? Oh, if you want to stick with 80s movies, you better be careful. We got the, you know, of course, Friday the 13th. Um, 
the Lampoon's vacation, man. European vacation, Christmas vacation. Karate Kid. Yeah. Um, Alien. Yeah. Roger Naked Rabbit. Gun. Top Gun. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, love me some fucking Top Gun. Um, Footloose. I saw Footloose Naked the other night. What was it? Naked Gun. Oh, yes. Leslie Nielsen. Love those movies. Uh, what else do we have? Raging Bull. I liked Raging Bull. Uh, yeah. Footloose. Yeah, I did as well. Footloose. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Gotta cut loose. Footloose. I think that was actually from the 70s, Texas Chainsaw. I think that was. Yeah, I think so. But they probably remade it sometime yeah. in the in the 80s. Day of the Dead. Saint Dawn Elmo's, of the Dead. St. Elmo's Fire. Yeah. Weird Science. I love Weird Science. Yeah, that's a good movie, too. Ooh, I could, um, go, I could go really... The Shining? Oh, shit, man. One of my favorites of all time, The Shining. There you go. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. There, that was from the 80s? Yeah, 1989, I think. Let me see. Really? I thought it was from the 90s. I thought it was the early 90s. Hold on, I'm pulling up um, IMDb on my phone. In the Mouth of... I don't know if you know this one. Um, in the Mouth of Madness? No, I never got that one. Uh, it was a John Carpenter movie. John Carpenter also did uh, The Thing. That was a good one. That was from the yeah. 80s, I believe. Yeah? Ooh, Stand By Me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Fucking Die Big Hard. Trouble in Little China. I like that movie. Die Hard? Yeah, Die Hard is good. Oh, here's one of my favorites. Better Off Dead. I've never seen that one. Oh, John Cusack. Um, the guy who played Booger in Revenge of the Nerds. There's another one right there, by the way. Um, mm. um and I think the guy, even the, 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 I think even Johnny from um, Karate Kid was in this. Yeah, I should check it out sometime. Yeah, that's a good one, man. That's a good one. What else we have? Uh, Risky Business? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Definitely check out Reanimator, though, man. That was good. Uh, fucking Hellraiser. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Friday the 13th. Yep, yep, yep. I'm looking at my movie collection right now, trying to see what else is from the 80s. Oh, if I went through my movie collection, it'd be bad. Airplane. Yeah, that's another one, yeah. Airplane was awesome, dude. Uh, this is a guilty pleasure of mine. Toxic Adventure. I like Toxic Adventure. Toxic Adventure is wrong. Huh? Oh, dude, one of my favorites. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, those guys are fags. That's where that comes from. Yeah, that's a good one. Yep. That's Spicoli. Scarf, Scarface. <laughs> Yeah, how can we forget Scarface? How Goodfellas? can we forget Scarface? Yeah, Goodfellas was 80s, wasn't it? Or was that 90s? No, I, th I think it was... Was it? I don't know. Heat? Hold on here. Good... Fellas. 1990. So, you're on the cusp. Damn. That's all right. I'll give it to you. I'll give it what to you. What about Heat? Heat was good. Full Metal Jacket. Is that from the 80s? Full Metal Jacket was 87? I don't know. It's a great movie. Wall Street? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Full Metal Jacket. I didn't um, realize that. Do the right thing. Jesus Christ. Princess Bri Blues yeah, do Brothers. The right thing. Blues Brothers. Thank you, Weeble. There's an awesome one. Colors. Yeah, I could yes. forget that. Colors. Yeah, Colors is good, man. I forgot right. that. Yeah, of course you've seen Colors. Yeah, of course. Um, Star Wars. Man, that's a lot of fucking movies. Yeah, Star Wars. 
Dude, we're, the 80s. we're forgetting all the big ones. Rocky. Oh. Yeah. Which one? Rocky three was the eighties. Rocky one and two were seventies, I think. Caddyshack. Thank you, buddy. Oh yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. I think that's Caddyshack. about it, man. We got a lot. Oh, Caddyshack was awesome. The vaca- all the like uh uh vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Coming to America, which Definitely. you mentioned earlier. Yeah, we got that one. Yep, all the nights like we said earlier. Oh yeah, that God, I love that movie. That's such a good movie. Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Dude, there's not. There's really not much wrestling to talk about tonight. <laughs> yeah, we barely talked about wrestling at all. Because there's not much. What do you want to talk about here? Um, Kurt Angle's contract is only for a year. It expires at the end of December. So, <laughs> dirt sheets are going to run with this and, and, and claim the guys, you know, going to WWE by the end of the year. Yeah, so so, so figure right around, nice. right around October, November, get ready for the, oh, WWE is signing Kurt Angle. You know it, man. You know it. I've got the top. They love it, man. They oh, yeah. love it. Do you think like uh, Dave Meltzer gets like an automatic boner when he gets these like big topics? Just know with his money. I I think the only time he gets boners is when he's talking about Japanese wrestling. <laughs> it's true, man. Five star matches. Oh. <laughs> Just sit in the fucking crowd, pop a boner for Japanese matches. Oh, That's fucking Japanese awesome. Japanese matches. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. More Japanese. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, more Japanese. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. More Japanese. Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. They fucking melt man. He does love his Japanese wrestling. Like, to like a oh. weird, you know. God. Jesus Christ. <sighs> anyway. Well, before we get out of here, any other, uh, any other news? I've got top ten substance abuse incidents, incident, incidents that WWE doesn't want you to know about. All right, let's do it. All right. You want me to post this? Oh, you can't even get on Facebook. Don't fucking matter. Well, let me, let me, let me, let's, let's make it a test. Let me see how many of them I can guess. All right. Okay. All right. Well, uh, Mr. With... Perfect. Is he on the list? Oh, I, um, I don't know. I'm on number 10. Well, fuck, man. I can't guess it in, in order. No, you can't. I, and I can't see the whole list. That's, so. that's, that's way too hard. So your guessing isn't going to All right, well, hard. fuck it. Just, 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 just read the list. Fuck it. I'm that's going way to the too list. hard. Number 10, Hulk Hogan pimping his wife. Uh, we've all heard this rumor. <laughs> Who hasn't heard this rumor of Hogan letting people bang his wife? We've all heard it. Um, and uh, there you go. <laughs> no, man. You think, you think the warrior got a piece of that ass? Actually, one of them is the Ultimate Warrior in 2011 revealed that Hogan used to fill himself with cocaine and pimp his wife, li- pimp his wife Linda around the locker room for sex. Linda, now divorced with Hogan, said she, that she used drugs most of the time, which further added to the proof of Warrior's claims. So, Warrior did say he was offered Linda at one point. Yeah. I do remember hearing that. Um, well, I can't say that surprises me. No, let's see. This is uh, what about nine. what about Macho Man? Do you think Macho Man banged her? I don't know. Maybe I don't. I probably probably did. Probably probably did. Let's see what we got here. Number nine. Number nine is. Ric Flair, or I'm sorry, a naked Terry Funk stalking Ric Flair's dog. Why? Uh, let's see, Ric Flair. What legendary. the fuck? Is, what? Ric Wait, Flair. hold on, hold on, hold no, on, no, no, hold on. We can't just, we can't just pass by that. I'm man. not passing by. I'm reading. Ric Flair' legendary career inside the ring was more known for being a party animal. Flair used to throw parties with booze. And girls every now and then, which he used to stay high the whole night. 
However, one of the most ridiculous stories came out of one of Ric Flair's parties is that Terry Funk, the hardcore legend, W. Okay, this was in tooth in Flair's autobiography. One night after Ric Flair's trademark parties, Flair's wife came home to a drunken Flair. But the best thing was waiting for her in the backyard, a naked Terry Funk with a knife on his mouth. Terry Funk with a knife in his mouth and stalking Flair's dog. Wow. <laughs> So it was just, that is fucking wild. It was a drunk, naked Terry Man. Funk stalking Flair's dog with his knife. That's awesome. Man, T- Terry Funk was like one of my favorites, man. I don't, I don't know if I can say the same thing now. Yeah, guy's one. fucking crazy. Nah, the guy was drunk. All right, this one I think we've all heard, and if you ever watched the, um, I think it was the ESPN, what is it called, ESPN 360 on him? Is it called 360 or 60? I don't, I don't remember. Um, yeah. Scott Hall uh, killing somebody. It was. This has been spoke about before. Um, right. Yeah, he was a bodyguard at the time, and uh, 1983 outside a nightclub, and uh, claimed self defense, and that was it. He uh, he did get away with it. A lot of people say that's where his his a lot of his drug abuse probably comes from, which I could definitely see as a good argument for for that yeah absolutely yeah yeah that would probably uh screw anybody up number seven is kind of stupid it's vince mcmahon steroid trial yes yeah, uh, that's, that's just like a general, that, a general every, yeah this was in 1994 everyone knew about this uh i'm gonna whatever we don't need to go uh, go into that <laughs> excuse me Excuse me twice. Uh, I sneezed anyway. It's okay. Uh, uh, well, God number bless you in that case. No problem. And number six. Number six was your your guess. Uh, Mr. Perfect Kurt Henning beating up Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Was this the story you were thinking of? That's that's, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay. That's crazy, man. That's the. Uh... That's crazy. That's like, that, that would be actually like a nice matchup. They're both, uh, are they both from Ohio? Is that, is that where they're from? I don't remember. I think Brock is from Minnesota. Yeah, actually, the, yeah, they're both from uh, Minnesota, actually. Okay, there you go. And uh, big ass egos, both fucking wrestlers, you know, mm-hmm. getting drunk on a fucking plane. Ric Flair's got his, got his dangling hanging out. Dang-a-lang. Michael Hayes just got his hair cut. X Pac is shitting in people's backs. You know, people are just fucking popping, you know, uh, Zannies and Percocets and drinking free liquor and X-Pac Scott Hall is passing out. And, X-Pac's yeah. cutting Michael Hayes' hair. Yeah, yeah, I said that one. And uh, what else happened on that one? I don't know, but I guess this was it. I mean, and he beat up Brock Lesnar, and since Lesnar was protected at the time as the next big thing he was uh he was fired i think actually uh, vince mcmahon and kurt kurt angle they were going to wrestle on the plane I, I, yep i had i've heard that one before i heard they did start wrestling yeah it's retarded man yeah 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 i'd like to see that one vince is just he's such a crazy nick but at the same time, he's like this, like fucking corporate entrepreneur. But you know, he's just like a crazy guy on the inside. Yeah, exactly. Which is, you know. Yeah, I mean, you gotta <laughs> love the guy. You gotta love him. What else we got here? Number five, Davy Boy Smith high match at SummerSlam. You heard this one? Which match? Uh, SummerSlam 1992. What about it? Uh, SummerSlam 1992, uh, an epic battle between Davey Boy Smith and Bret Hart. Bret Hart later revealed that, um, he actually claimed in, in his auto, uh, autobiography that, uh, Smith was smoking crack all night before that match. And, um... Jesus. Yeah, he said it was very hard because Smith was basically dead weight, couldn't get couldn't get light for him. So, 
Yeah. Wow, I had no idea a uh, yep. British Bulldog was smoking crack in 92. Uh, looks like it. It's fucking wild. Yeah. So. Jesus, man, why are, why are wrestlers... I don't get this, man. Why are wrestlers smoking crack? Why don't they at least, like, sniff coke? Why crack? Uh, just do some painkillers and go to bed. How about that? Yeah, or just, just yeah, yeah. Just chase them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't, don't need to be a crackhead or a cokehead. Yeah, don't drink. Just do some painkillers and go to sleep. Right. Yeah, don't mix them. Just take them and go to sleep. And they, no, they I mean, I, I, mean I'll, I mix them, but don't do what I do. Do as I say. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> here you go. Listen, listen to Boxman. Listen to this fucking guy. Don't listen to me. I'm a degenerate piece of shit. Don't listen to me. <laughs> did you say degenerate? Oh, did I? I don't know. Did you? I, 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 I think I might have. You think you could tell us what to do? Yeah. You think you could tell us what to wear? <laughs> you think you better? All right. Uh. <laughs> you better suck it. They gotta suck it, man. I'm doing the crock job. I, I had a, I had I a the crock job. What there the fuck go. is wrong with me? I had a minimize to hit that. That's right. not that time. Already? Shit. Come on. Uh, there you go, right. man. These, these guys forgot. The motherfucking it. degenerates. These these guys in the chat room brought up a classic '80s movie, Spaceballs. How could we forget Spaceballs? Yeah, yeah, that yep. is a good one. There you go. Um, let's go to number four. Wasn't that, wasn't that a Mel Brooks? Yes, it was. Mel Brooks movie? I love all his yeah. movies. All of them. Um, Rey Mysterio's drug addiction is number four. Uh, it really? Talks, talks a lot about his painkiller addiction. Um, that's what basically, yeah, that was a lot of, some, some of his time off, and it said the, uh, death of Eddie Guerrero really made it worse. So. Yeah, but the guy also had, like, bad knees. He had a lot of surgeries, man. Yeah, he was in a lot of pain. Oh, yeah. That's what they feel to tell you. You know, the guy was fucking, you know, he, he was shooting up all these painkillers in his fucking system because the guy's probably struggling and then becomes addicted after all these surgeries. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Um, what is it? This was back in 2007. Um, WWE got tangled up in a steroid scandal. And a lot of wrestlers in Florida were named uh, Kurt Angle, Batista, Edge, Booker T, um, were on the list of people being supplied with steroids from this doctor. So Yeah, I don't remember this. That's crazy. Booker T? Booker T was an, an Edge. Edge was on steroids. He, uh, that's great. Well, Edge he did was, get big for a little while. Edge was on a list. He did get pretty jacked there for a good, I'd say, a year and a half, two years. Yeah, he yeah, was, he was always he, he was always very small and thin, but uh, yeah. yeah, he did get jacked for a little bit. Yeah, I thought you might have heard that. Um, this next one is like no shocker. Uh, RVD arrested for marijuana possession. Yeah, with Sabu. Yeah, along with Sabu, pulled over. Yep. Both both were soon stripped of titles. No. What, RBD, what title no. is Sabu? No, I'm had? sorry. I'm sorry. RBD was stripped of a title. Both both were... Uh, RBD no, was, was stripped... No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Sabu RBD... I, I saw the word both. RBD was stripped of both of his titles. He had two titles yeah. at the time. Yeah, 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 the, the, yeah, the WWE and the ECW title. And the ECW, right. And the number one... That's fucked up, man. Okay, That's... you do some guessing. Guess number one. Uh, Jeff Hardy in the ring with Sting? Worse. Nope, worse. It's, it's worse than that? This was WWE doesn't want you to know about. Oh, WWE, um... Ah, uh, it's the worst thing you can think I, ever happened in WWE. Uh, Vince being on something? Oh my god, dude! No, this is all the Chris Benoit. 
Oh, yeah. 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 yeah I guess it, that's, that's, that's way too obvious, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It was kind of obvious. That's why I figured maybe. But, yeah, it was said he was uh, definitely, you know, substance abuse that eventually could have caused him to do this. So, uh, yep, that was number one right there. So, so what was number one? That guy. Oh, okay. That guy that could Who? suplex. I don't know. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Benoit? Benoit? Ben... Benoit. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't remember that guy. I Benoit don't Balls. I don't like know. That. I just. I saw some guy that did some nice suplexes. Oh, you, you, you're not allowed to say that either. I'm talking about Brock. Oh, yeah, sixteen Germans. There you go. Who, yeah. Who, who, who did you think I'm talking about? Yeah. I. I. I really don't yeah, know. I just this Brock, dude. That's all I know. German suplexes. Brock yeah. only, dude. Brock, That's dude. who I connect that with. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what do I got here? I've got Animal, Road Warrior Animal talks about the Ascension. I wish them nothing but the best. Hope they are successful. I know they're just doing what they are told. But when they run down teams like the Road Warriors and Demolition before ever accomplishing anything, they'll they'll be dead in the water from that. Fans today are just too smart for that, and you can tell by their reaction. You have to look at the part. Hawk and I did what we were allowed. Hawk and I did, and we were allowed to be an extension of ourselves. The extension is being fed by fed apart by Hollywood writers, none of whom understand the business. Hmm. Atta boy, animal. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, his, his his original statement was a uh, kind of kind of silly in a, in a way. But um, this sounds much better because then isn't his original statement? He kind of came off like he was pissed off, and then, right. you know at the same time you got to know that these writers are writing this for these guys. It's not them. So. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you know, we've we've said that before, but I don't know how the writers can even think that this is a good idea. You know what I mean? I, I really don't. I mean, how could you think going out there and trashing? Legendary teams is going to get another team over. How? Oh. Oh, and I have lost Shaheen. All right, guys. I'll be back in one minute with Shaheen. All right. Sorry about that, guys. We are back. Shaheen just had a little, little mishap there, but we're all back and good and not a problem. Sorry about that. There we go. We are back indeed. Uh, yeah. What were we talking about? Uh, we were talking about... What were we talking about? Oh, we were talking about the Ascension and how, how anyone thought any of the writers could actually sit there behind the scenes and think that it's a good idea to have these guys trash complete legends. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's stupid, man. But again... You know, like Triple H said, these writers, it's not just them. Ultimately, it's its going through Vince. So, you know, you never know, man. Yeah. Yeah. It might just be Vinny McMahon just burying everybody. You it never know. It could be. Who knows? Well, I think since we're, uh, since it's Saturday, I think we need to go to Moms Against WWE. <laughs> yes, we do. Let's Let's make this happen. Now. I will say something. I did notice when you're reading the about, if you click about for this site, it does say it is a parody. Okay. So, right. well, who that, cares? That, that kind of ruins it. That uh, it does a little bit, but still, this is hilarious. But it's fun. If you do go to this site, please read the comments. It shows how many people have not gone and read about it. These people are angry. <laughs> well, that that makes it better. I like that. Yeah. That makes it funnier. It, it does. The comments are great. And it doesn't have that much. It's got a picture. It says, uh, it's got a picture of Roddy Piper when he did the half black makeup. Yeah, the usual uh, yeah. fucking racist ass WWE stuff. Celebrate Black History Month with the WWE Network now and relive all the great moments. WWE promoted ec ethnic diversity. <laughs> And it's got that picture of Roddy. Was it, what WrestleMania was that? Was that uh, eight? 
Um, hold on a second. No, eight, eight. No, it can't be eight. Hold on. It's searching. Because eight was uh, against Bret Hart. Um, six. Six. It was six. Okay. I googled it. I bet you did. I did. I did. Yeah, there's not really much anything else. Oh, picture of Ted DiBiase and Virgil. Celebrate Black History Month by watching WWE Network reruns of this rich white man and his black slave. Yeah, I always thought that was weird, man. The whole thing with Virgil and <laughs> fucking Ted DiBiase. That was, I mean, come on. Yeah. yeah, that was definitely, definitely racist. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, he was getting paid for it, so he he wasn't supposed to be a slave. But they, he, come on, you know what they were going after. <laughs> There's a picture. They had a, of... they had a little... Yeah, go ahead. They had a little black kid coming. Uh, you know, he was he was bouncing the basketball uh, in that one segment with uh, Ted DiBiase, mm-hmm. and he was gonna pay him a hundred dollars, and then he kicked the ball out of his hand. He always he always messed around with like little like black kids and. Stuff like that. You could tell it was racist. Allegedly. Nah, fuck that. It was. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Alright, there you go. Uh, let's see here. They have a picture of Vicky Guerrero when she was begging John Cena for her job back with AJ Lee and Dolph in the ring. Vicky has a... I don't remember that, thankfully. Vicky is on her knees in front of John Cena and has a handful of his buttocks in her hand. And it says, Most WWE fans partake in the lewd act of voyeurism, and WWE wrongfully caters to them with these disgusting acts. It looks like Vicky's about to blow them. That's that's amazing. I'm going to make that my screensaver. (laughs) Well, AJ is on that picture, so yeah, I could do that. Um, AJ looking good. All right, that's, there you go, man. Don't much. don't say that before uh, Phil Phil comes in and uh, fucks you up. Hey, man. Oh, sorry, by the way, I, I I didn't mean to call him Phil. Before. Yeah, yeah. See, if he comes at me, I'll <laughs> sorry, just call him. AJ. Yeah, if he comes at me, I'll just call him Phil, and he'll just walk away. Be like, Psh, no. No, he'll just he'll just challenge you to a UFC fight, dude. I hate to say, but I think I can take Punk. <laughs> think so? I honestly think I could take Punk. I really do. I don't know, man. He's he's, he's straight edge, man. Really? Hey, he's, he's he's a vegan. Then I could definitely take him. <laughs> <laughs> that makes him better than that. I could definitely. Okay, I, I just want to say our chat room is still talking about '80s movies. Um. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> yeah, they got, they got, I mean, they've got, what, what is it, Tron, Flashdance, uh, uh, Uncle Buck, I love that movie, Little Shop of Horrors, Summer Rental, Turner and Hooch, god damn, that was a good movie, too. Yeah, well, I forgot about, uh, fucking, uh, Little Shop of Horrors, like you said, that was, that was a fuck, man, that was one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. Can't believe I forgot that. They got Crocodile Dundee in here. Oh, how could I forget that? How could we forget that? Trading Places, how could I forget that? Commando. Jesus. Another Schwarzenegger. Commando, another Schwarzenegger movie. Uh, Let's see here. And, okay, that's it for that. Now they're talking about how they would both let Vicky blow them. Okay. Um. (laughs) Would you? Probably. (laughs) Probably. Man, her her teeth look fucking vicious, though. Yeah, I don't know. They look like, unless she really knows what she's doing, man, they look like they could fucking damage. Well, chat room seems to think she probably got skills. And that's with a Z. By the way, speaking of, uh... Speaking of, of uh... What's her name? Vicky, uh, Eddie Eddie's wife. Mm, yes. Do you think it's kind of tasteless of, of WWE and other wrestlers kind of partaking in, in angles where they're making out with her and, and shit like that, like Dolph Ziggler and who else did stuff with her? Edge? Yeah, Edge. I think that Do you a... think that's like, that's fucking kind of just, just 
grimy of them. Not really. I mean, I, I for, first of all, I don't think she would. I mean, if she said no, I don't think they would do it. They did have, from what I read, they had a lot of respect for Vicky backstage. So, I mean, I'm, I'm sure she could have said no at any point. You know? Yeah, I probably shouldn't say what I was thinking. Um, I don't know. Think, <laughs> and then well, decide. Saying, what if? What if? What if she wanted to? What if she wanted to bang those guys? So she's okay with it. But that doesn't mean that Eddie would be cool with that. Well, I guess it depends. What on... if twenty? Like, what if she just wants to get some dick? Well, she she might. I got. I don't know. It's it's, it's, it's just... weird. That was always that was always fucking weird to me. I don't know. Having those guys like make out with her on TV. Nah, I don't know. Eddie's probably just happy she's she's making money and still carrying on his legacy. Yeah, but not by fucking making out with other dudes. Well, on TV, I'm not I'm not saying she can never like bang other people and have another relationship, but just you know portrayed on TV, I think it's just tasteless. Yeah, but it's TV making out, which according to actors isn't really making out. I guess, man. I guess. I'm, I, I guess I'm not Hollywood enough. I'm <laughs> far from the West Coast. Like I said, you know, you yeah. and you and Gucci man rep down south. There you go. Nothing I got the do. East Coast. Hollywood got the West Coast. That's it, man. Can't relate. That's it, man. That's it. That's it. Mm-hmm. That God damn. Dude, you got to put that vibrator away. <laughs> nah, it was, a, it was a text message. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Shaheen. What else we got, man? <laughs> oh, I didn't even hear what you said. What did you say? <laughs> All righty then. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. What did you say? Nothing. This fucking guy. I didn't say anything, Shaheen. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't gonna start whatting me again, motherfucker. <laughs> um, this fucking guy. That's right. Uh, well, that's, 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 that's one problem we found out. And if we do it through the phone, if somebody texts me, you can. It's gonna, you know, fuck up the audio. Well, it just sounds like you're putting a vibrator to your butthole, but that's fine. You do what you want to do, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what. No, man, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that to somebody else. <laughs> Perhaps Darren Young or maybe Kalisto now. Oh, man. Um, that's that's a topic, man. It's Kalisto, poor guy. I thought we hit Jesus. that one. Didn't we hit that last week? No, we didn't. Poor guy. Well, a lot, the, the, the WWE is denying it. Of course, but are they actually? I mean, I well, know that. I mean, let's well, that's face good. it. That's good. I let's, hope they deny it. Let's face it. Dave Meltzer said it. There's a there's a there's a sixty forty chance it's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's, probably. That's, look, all these dirt sheets. When you're looking at the wrestling stuff, you always look at it and go sixty forty. It's bullshit. I always think it it could be bullshit. But That's I don't the know. ratio. I, I would say it's pretty good, but um, I don't know. I don't know. But this one's probably not what? bullshit. Uh, yeah, why not? Why not just give this gimmick to Darren Young though? I, I don't get it. I agree. I mean, give it to him. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they're they're very stereotypical of of, of you know minorities and stuff. Why not do the same thing to Darren Young? You're gonna do it to everybody. You can't. Can't discriminate. No, I mean I've got a, uh, I mean I've, I've I've got a gay uncle who is a hairdresser. I can call him up and he can go do the gimmick. There you go, man. Yeah, he give it to somebody else. Yeah, my uncle would love it. He'd be out there. He, I mean, he's in his you know fifties, but he'd be he'd be partying down. Is he a, is he a wrestling fan? No, no, he's not. Well, I'm but, sure for the money though, he would, he would become a wrestler. He makes good money where he's at. He's at a place in um, Miami. Okay. He's been doing, he's been, since I can remember things, he's been a hairdresser at this place. Since you can remember. Yeah, since I can remember, 
He's lived in Florida and worked at this place. This place has been open for like 70 years. Jesus. Yeah. So it's got some. That's it's a long got, time. Yeah, it's got ties. So I don't know, man. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, take the batteries out, Shaheen. <laughs> I can't help it, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give me, give me one more or two more days before I get my internet back. Holy crap, my man! All right, you know what? Let's get to some wrestling <laughs> news while you're doing that. Maybe that'll calm you down a little bit. Um, oh, looks like, hey, Jesus! Looks like a former WWE Tough Enough competitor and former AAA <laughs> Cruiserweight champion are coming to Lucha Underground. Um, Jack Evans. <laughs> Jack Jack Evans is going to be coming to Lucha Underground, it looks like. Um, That's good. I, I like that guy. I do, too. I remember him from uh, WSX. Um, yeah, he was on um, he was on PWG also in the early uh-huh. days. He was really good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It says some indie stars. Willie Mack, Shane Strickland um, impressed uh, some Lucha Underground officials in their tryouts. I really hate reading that because it sounds like you're reading a WWE line. Uh, yeah, by the way, uh, Willie Mack, that was the same guy that was signed by WWE for like a week. Yeah, then they must have, obviously they found something on his um, physical that didn't go right. Really? I don't know. Why would you get rid of a guy right after you sign him? I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe because he's like 320 pounds. He's only... Five seven, I guess that could be. I mean, his his like agility is is great, but I don't know his look. I mean, it, it makes you just think the same thing about Brian Cage. Excuse me, Brian Cage. They yeah, they, that guy, that guy, he he could have been a star in WWE. Man. Oh my God, they they had him too, and they you know I mean he he's the kind of guy you think they would want. Look at I mean they had Rob Terry. Big. I mean, that's the kind of guy you think WWE would love. Big, jacked up, but yeah, I don't know. But um, the tough enough. Do you compared- remember? Uh, you remember Mason Ryan? Yeah. That guy. He wasn't very good though. I liked him. Uh, I actually, I'm, I met him last year. Man, that guy is fucking huge. He, Jesus, that guy had some shoulders on him like I've never seen. <laughs> That guy is huge, man. Looked like he surgically implanted softballs in his shoulders. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looked like to basically me. Basically, what it is. Yeah, exactly. Um, and the um, the tough enough uh, competitor was uh, Martin. What was his name? Casas, I think, was his name. Um, he was one of the guy. He got hurt, and I had to leave. In uh, the Tough Enough with uh, the one where Stone Cold was, just the last season of Tough Enough? Yeah. So, looks like he may get another chance. So, looks like he's going to Lucha. Nice. Lucha Underground, man. They're getting, they're getting some new people. I'm excited. It's good. Yeah. Plus, they always seem to bring new people in from, like, AAA, which is always refreshing. Well, it's a AAA company. Yeah. Right. So... They're just bringing in whoever they need, man. That's good. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I got snow. Could you problems. hear that? Yeah. Yeah. But I just try to let it go. Yeah, just a deny call. I don't know why people keep calling once you deny the call already. Yeah. You because know? they want to leave a message. Yeah, but it's like I already denied the call twice, dude. Just wait. Yeah. yeah. See, this is another time we need to chill the fuck out button so I can play that. Yeah, I keep forgetting to I get that fuck one. Fuck out, dude. I know. I'll get there. I'll remember one day. You gotta chill the fuck out, dude. Yeah, man. Chill the fuck out. Yeah, bro. That's it. That's what you gotta do. But, uh, any, anything else before we get out of here? I want to get out of here by midnight. Uh, well, it's only 10.50 here, so... Well, I, I I turn into a fucking werewolf at midnight here. So. Oh well, let's stay on for a little while after. I, I mean, that's something I'd love to get on air. Oh, well, if if I do it, then I'll probably die afterwards. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't, I, so 
the whole cold yeah. thing, you know, I can't expose the, the werewolf cold, you know. It's a whole yeah, thing. I, yeah, I, I, no, I don't want you to do that because um, we got a show Tuesday. Yeah, we got a, yeah, exactly. We got a show Tuesday. I don't want to die, so, you know, let's keep me alive for a few more days. There you go. Um, I don't see much else in the wrestling news. Um, we got, let's see, we got two more weeks until, um, until fast lane. Bam. Do they have any matches announced other than, uh, the main event? We talked about the matches last week that were announced so far on Tuesday. What were they? <laughs> you want me to remember? No, that's fine. You don't have to remember. I don't, I don't care. Enough to find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There yeah, you go, man. man. Well, I, guess, I, can, I can totally I guess remember. Uh, guess let's uh, do our plugs. All right. We can do that, I guess. You know what? Before yeah, we do that. Us on, um, join you know us what? on thtpodcast.com. Yeah. Good. Please go ahead and subscribe on iTunes and on Stitcher. Uh, Stitcher for the. For the Android listeners, and of course iTunes for the Apple folks like myself. Go ahead and search THT Wrestling Podcast. It should pop up. Um, please leave a review. Greatly appreciate it. it. Takes three seconds. Just leave a quick review. You know, whatever it is, it definitely helps us. Because when you leave a review, um, the more reviews we get, the more we get suggested to other people, and that way we get more listeners. So it's good stuff. Um, other than that, go ahead and join us on Facebook.com slash group slash THT podcast. Join us on YouTube, THT Wrestling Podcast, and Turnbuckle Corner. Um, what else we got? Twitter, THT Wrestling Podcast. Yep. Um, that's about it, I guess, right? That's about it. Um, want to thank... Uh, let's see, Wrestling Soup. They mentioned us again. Want to appreciate uh, thanks to those guys for doing that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I also want to. Uh, we got a new guy here on the uh, on the Facebook that asked us to go ahead and plug his site, and we got no problem doing that. Uh, it's called Big E Sports Talk. That's one word. Big E Sports Talk dot com. Um, he's got stuff about wrestling, stuff about NFL here. He's got stuff about all kinds of stuff. So uh, if you want to, you if you're a sports fan, check Big E out. Um, there it is. There you go. Check them out. Check them out. Really appreciate all the support. Uh, the numbers and downloads have skyrocketed since the last couple of weeks. Greatly appreciate all the support. Um, this is a, you know, this is a kind of a weird show. We didn't have literally anything to talk about. So <laughs> take it how you will. Dude, um, we'll be back Tuesday. What was that? Dude, we talked about fucking eighties movies. Don't tell me there was nothing to talk about. Uh, that's true. That's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah, but uh, we'll be back Tuesday. We'll talk about Raw. Maybe we'll talk about you know lockdown a little bit more. Um, Lucha Underground. We'll talk about some other stuff. But we'll be back, um, and we shall see you on Tuesday. If not, we'll pop up in your phone on your computer whenever it uploads. All you have to do is subscribe. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you on Tuesday. See ya. Yep. Thanks for listening. Thanks for the chat room. See ya. Pack your ass, my good man. Time to kick back, take some beers, and smoke some weed. Yeah.